to Cambridge Uni for a training course, um, statistics in R. Um, and I'm literally like an hour early. And if I don't come an hour early, I just have fear that I'll be late for the train. Um, and it's come obviously out of my PhD budget, so it's not even my money on top of that. So I just feel bad wasting it. So yeah, I'm an hour early and I'm just on my way to the subway to get a subway salad. I've never actually tried one before. Um, obviously I've had subway, but not the salad. You know, I'm on a diet, so why not? Oh, I literally just got the salad. Um, let's try it. I didn't even realize um, subway had any cutlery. Also, I had loads of spots in my eyebrows because I just did my eyebrows and I always get imitation spots after. Um, and I had to do it like a week early because I'm going on holiday and I don't want spots on holiday, which is also why my nails look absolutely atrocious. But I got a spicy Italian Subway salad. It was basically literally everything that I need to put in there except the bread. Um, and this is definitely hearty Italian. No, it's a hot Italian. It's the herb and cheese elitism in here. Like, I love that. Um, but I got all of the salad except for olives, even though there is one. I don't want it in there. Um, yeah. After this, I'm going to the platform to wait for my train. But for now, I'm literally enjoying my my lunch. Is it lunch time yet? Or is it still breakfast? Either way, this one comes as my lunch. So I've just gotten to Cambridge. Um, I've already been to my apartment, but I'll record that when I get back. I just thought before it starts chucking down raining, I will explore the, the town. Um, I'm not that far from the city centre, but I'm not in the city centre. Um, I had to cross a lock called Jesus Lock to get here, but I'm still not there. I've got probably a nine more nine more minutes to go. But this is where I'm at currently. Cambridge is definitely very interesting. I feel like it reminds me of certain parts in central London. A lot of greenery, nice parks. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see what I can find. <laughs>
completely forgot to vlog my room um i've kind of settled in a little bit now like i've unpacked but i thought i'd just give you a little tour so it is a bit messy i literally have just eaten as you can kind of see over there my food and my drink i'm about to throw the rest away um but yeah we've got a kind of like closet with spare pillows and towel and then over here we've got a chest of drawers i basically decided to like i kind of am a bit funny about putting my clothes in drawers i don't know what it is even when i'm on a holiday i just can't do it so i'd hang stuff out or I'd just fold it and put it on top. Um, I don't know why that is, but it is what it is. We've got a sofa bed here and an actual bed here. And they literally just put a new mattress in as I was coming in, so that was nice. Um, I've got a kitchenette area over there, so it's only got a sink, a kettle, um, plates and bowls and cutlery and things. Um, TV, as you saw earlier, and here's my ensuite, so bathroom, shower. Um, but yeah, in general, it was pretty cute. Um, obviously, it was paid for by the uni. Um, next, obviously, coming out of my PhD budget. And this was genuinely the cheapest room that they had available in Cambridge at the time of booking. So I'm pretty happy for this. This whole ensuite. There's a shared kitchen downstairs where I've been storing things like drinks and food. Um, but yeah, that's it for me. The end of day one and i'm pretty excited and also quite nervous to go to my course tomorrow at cambridge um it'd be nice to meet some people um maybe go out for food or drinks at some point but i don't know it just depends on the people there really but yeah see you tomorrow while i finish getting ready i'm gonna leave in like 10 minutes so i've got this plain black t-shirt from skims and then these jeans that are from zara not that you can even see I literally have to use it out because I've lost so much weight. Oh, let's try that again. Okay, yeah, so I've lost so much weight over the past couple of weeks, and I, um, I, I thought there's no point in buying any jeans since I plan on losing a little more. And yeah, I literally cannot use it without the belt. So, and then I'm gonna wear the only trainers I packed for this whole trip, which are my Nike Dunks. And yeah, when I get back, I'll do a what i have in my bag i've got my headscarf on just laying my hair even though i didn't actually do my edges wave check Brr. um but yeah i'm just getting ready to leave now those are white socks i want black so i just had my lunch i went for an old subway salad but instead of doing the spicy italian like yesterday i tried the chicken teriyaki and i've actually never had chicken teriyaki um ever before like in subway out of subway um i was pleasantly surprised i didn't think i was gonna like it that much but i did but you guys don't care about my lunch so we have a whole hour break the training session is going really good i think that the guy that's leading it is amazing he goes at a great pace it's great for people who are both very brand new to core um, statistics or are to people who have a bit of familiarity and um, there's a lot there to learn so I'm, I'm quite happy with what we're doing but yeah we have an hour um, I've already spent like 30 40 minutes of it going to Subway eating coming back but I thought I'd spend the rest of the time in this museum that I'm about to show you there's actually two on this specific site or this campus um, the other one I'll go to tomorrow but for today I'm going to this one that is called the Sedgwick Museum of Earth Sciences. Yeah, Sedgwick Museum. But um, yeah, let's just see how it goes inside. I think there's um, there's activities for children in there as well, so it is family friendly. I think they've got some colouring and some puzzles, um, and it is a free museum, so that's always nice. So I was just on my way home. I just literally finished my course like a few minutes ago. My first day was absolutely amazing, but I'll get onto that when I get home. But I was just about to go and get the bus, and I was walking past and I came across Emmanuel College. Um, and I just thought I'd show you guys because it's genuinely so beautiful here. insert some more clips just to show you guys how gorgeous it really is um, but it is starting to rain so I'll quickly film the rest of this place and then run on home because I don't have a hoodie I don't have a jacket which wasn't the wisest of ideas 
but it was so 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 sunny this morning I didn't want to carry the extra the extra baggage especially again having this camera um, and the laptops and stuff but yeah this is Emmanuel College This is lunchtime. Technically, it's not lunchtime, but um, it's my second day of doing this Cambridge course, and I finished early. Um, I think I finished first actually. And he said that if you have finished early and you've asked all the questions you want to ask, you can go. Um, so technically, I have a two-hour break instead of a one-hour lunch break. Um, I'm not complaining though. I guess that's a plus. A win's a win. And right now, I'm just about to go and get some food. Um, I don't know what I'm going to get, I'm kind of feeling some oriental food, some Eastern Asi East Asian food, but I don't know, we'll just see, we'll walk around. But yeah, I was going to stay to see if anyone asked, like, you know when someone asks a question that you didn't know you needed to question, um, but they're not really running the session like that, it's just you put up a red sticky note and someone comes over to your computer and then you can ask the question and they can help you so it's not like I even really get to um, like hear other people's questions and answers I just finished eating lunch I still have almost an hour of my extended lunch break and I was just about to leave so maybe just walk around to go in the shopping centre but it's boring like it's so bad I waited a few minutes for it to come out but I just didn't then I had a look on the weather app on my phone and you can actually see that it's going to stop raining in about 25 minutes so I think I'll just wait for it to come I was just editing the vlog and I realized I never actually explained to you what happened with the course how was it whether I liked it whether I'd recommend it or not uh, and the long story short of it is the course was absolutely brilliant they give you a kind of like a walkthrough tutorial on how to do these various core stats tests uh, mostly in R um, and it is aimed at people who have some familiarity with R but you could also go along if you'd never used R before obviously they do recommend having some familiarity before attending such course um, but yeah they give you some like some codes to basically enter along with them and then they set you tasks so using the same kind of code change it to fit these specific um, questions that a student has to answer so you have the exercise side of things uh, as well as the learning side of things I think that the lecturer that they had that was like the trainer was absolutely brilliant he he was well informed of course but he delivered content in a way that I think can be very difficult for some trainers to be able to deliver he just was very clear very concise uh, very patient as well which is always nice especially when you're new with things and maybe you don't have the, the hang of things yet I would absolutely recommend it to anyone it is a three-day course for some reason some of my footage just disappeared just somehow deleted itself um, but yeah absolutely amazing Cambridge itself is beautiful as well oh before I forget in addition to the course actually being good they do give you the presentations all the code and some kind of like workout booklets that you can have access to indefinitely after the course you can also get a certificate of attendance of which of course i got um but yeah cambridge is beautiful there's so many things to do um i think that even aside from having gone there for the course specifically it's a great place to have kind of like a staycation i guess um there's loads of tourists which I kind of suspected there would be but I just never had any clue that it would be that many um, because of the University of Cambridge as well as the other things that they have around 
the city uh, you have a hop on hop off bus uh, but yeah schools of children come and visit cambridge like it was actually quite surprising but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i know it was bits and pieces this was filmed last year so i didn't really have an idea for how i wanted this video to go uh, but stay tuned make sure you like comment and subscribe